So today we actually received some really, really exciting news for the UK anime scene. Nyko Bandai just announced that they will be opening a cross store in Camden, London. Now, of course, you're probably going to be asking yourself, what is a cross store? From my understanding, this will be a mega store that will feature six different stores, each with a different theme, featuring many anime related products. Of course, first, we've got the Banpresto official store. They seem to do everything from One Piece to Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer. So lots of franchises that are really, really popular. Heck, they even got a Berserk figure I see. So that's really, really cool to see. There's also going to be a Gachapon store. Of course, we also saw this at MCM. We had the Gachapon machines. These look really cool. They're not normally the ones you'd find like in the supermarket. They just have your generic rubbish in it. This one actually has like anime related stuff. They had like Animal Crossing one. Uh, I think they had the Demon Slayer one. They had a Spy Family one. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be really cool. Because Gachapon is huge in Japan. Like everywhere you go, there'll be like loads of anime themed ones. So it's actually really nice. So potentially we will be getting a lot more. Of course, we've got the Ichiban Kuji, which we actually did do at Comic-Con. Uh, we've got Mega House next, which I believe, from my understanding, is more figurines. So it's kind of nice to see that they are really going down on the figurines. Of course, next we got the One Piece card game, which I actually haven't had a chance to actually try yet. So this is going to be really exciting that I actually will finally, hopefully, be able to finally check it out. Really cool that they are really pushing this game. Um, I had to hear lots of good things from people, so I actually may try picking up the deck at some point and uh, attempt to play it. And then we got the Sunstar Stationery Shop, which I have looked up, and they essentially do a lot of anime theme related um, stationery, so like um, pencils, pens. I think they have like drawing, like those drawing book things and yeah they they look really cool so this looks really really cool that they are really like doubling down on these things because i would say the last few mcms ever since the pandemic nanka bandai have had a really really big presence and it's just really nice to see that they're they're really like grabbing grabbing the horns of course they used to be the nanko funscape Unfortunately, that shut down a good few couple of years ago um, in London. I think they do have other ones in other places. And I, I believe one of them actually already has an official One Piece card, trading card store. So that, that's really cool. Also, they have announced that there will be an arcade. Now, I'm really hoping there will be a lot of imported machines. Stuff like UFO catchers or claw, claw those Japanese claw machines. Those are really cool. Uh... Of course, they do do the Mario Kart game. That is available in a lot of arcades already. I'm just really hoping for Tekken kind of choosing. Um, I really do like that game. Uh, of course, there is a few arcades that have it, but unfortunately, their machines are a little bit out of date. So have stuff like Hollow Life songs and like way more modern stuff. So it'd be nice if we are getting some sort of official release for the arcade. And yeah, it'll be just nice to see other machines potentially getting imported and. Hopefully, as I said, a load of claw machines, hopefully with actual anime goods. And the last exciting thing is there's also going to be an event space. So what does this mean we'll be getting events? I have looked on the Japanese sites and I believe they do do have, they do have like crossover events. There's been a mole car one. There's been a love life one. I think right now there's even a city hunter one. That's of course, there's a new city hunter movie app out at the moment. So that's really exciting to see. Of course, all of this will be coming to Candom. I mean, Candom is a really, really popular place in London. I've not been there for years. I'm going to be honest, but this really will give me an excuse to actually go down there. I believe it's in one of the, the markets. I probably do have it up on screen somewhere now where this store is actually going to be is actually going to be really exciting i mean we we've never had something this big we have anime stores and stuff like that um but we've not had like a essentially japanese company come along and be like all all in and something so this is really exciting potential as i said the event space is what i'm really and one of the things I'm really looking forward to because it's really interesting to see what they'll actually bring. Will they bring over things like Jojo Worlds, which they actually were showing off at MCM Comic Con? So they actually do have a Twitter. I will be putting the Twitter up on screen right now. 
uh, for the new store. So they will be making announcements. All they are saying is that it's going to open in July. So that's really soon. That's next month. That's crazy. The thing. Next month we'll be able to check out this cross store. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, looking at the pictures of the Japanese stores, if it's if it's half as good as these pictures look like, it's going to be wild. So yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this Bando Nankai cross store actually has in store for us in the UK.